go ahead and start there. Uh, that was so cute. <laughs> Thank you. First of all, you weren't in the room at Comic-Con, but the sound was deafening the minute you came on screen. They just jumped up and down like, I, I mean, you, you rivaled Sarah Michelle Gellar as far as like the, the noise, ma'am, and that's a, a pretty, I think, amazing feat. So what was it like hearing about that reaction? You weren't there, but man, you were there in spirit. Because if you were there, would have given away, you know? Yeah. Would have given it away. I, I really love Allison as much as everyone else does, but I'm always so humbled by just the amount of support she gets because I just approach her from such an honest place and, and I know that I'm bringing a lot of myself to it. So every time, um, every time I hear that, it makes me just so grateful to be an actor and to know that um, I'm doing my job and I'm telling a story that, that affects people and I'm so grateful that I have the ability to bring, you know, Jeff's character to life and um, I just want to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can I just go ahead and say how great it is to see you sitting next to Holland, like just, just for my feel the serotonin just coming watching you two on, on a Comic-Con stage. And I, I think what I really love about this story is I feel that your two characters, I mean, you, you look very mad in that moment, but I just feel that just the first time she sees Allison, everything that's gonna come flooding back for some of these characters, but especially for yours, Holland, like I feel like- Or is it? Or is it? Oh wait, well, <laughs> if you wanna educate me, I would love to hear it. Are we allowed? We are definitely yeah. allowed. Don't You're say, don't say a word. <laughs> I will tell you though, there's a moment, I did show Crystal um, a scene the other night. I texted her and I'm like, you gotta see this. Um, Cause it, it affected me and uh, it was a scene between her and Holland, and I'm not saying anything else. I was not, I did not receive a text. Oh! Well, do I you know what scene he's talking about? Or at least maybe you could set the stage for what to expect, Miss Holland? Do you want, do you know which one? Well, did you, well, why don't you just take us back to doing a scene with Allison for the first time after all these years? Because I think that was probably a special moment, just doing a scene together. I actually am really happy to see um, <laughs> Lydia and Jackson together again. Woo! That is true. That is true. Give her back her key! Oh. <laughs> he still has my house key on and off screen. <laughs> um, but I would say that the one thing I think you guys are going to really love, that I personally love, and hopefully that it translates, is, is just that reunion on screen. Is, uh, is real and feeling those characters come back together. Um, you know, I, I hadn't seen Posey in a while, and so when you see Lydia and Scott on screen, hopefully that feeling is what you feel too that we felt when we were filming it. Um, it's like a big hug, and it's a big reunion, you know. It's a, it's a really nice reunion, but this one I see weekly, so it wasn't that. Oh no, I, I kind of pre warned them. First of all, fabulous. Everyone looks fabulous, I, I might have to add. Like, y'all all look this fine. Go back into the, into the Letterman uniforms, I love it. But Mr. Colton, sir, how does it feel um, to finally answer the question, where's Jackson? Like, you can finally say, it, he's back. <laughs> it's wild to think that, it's been, what, 12 years since we did this? Um, and I'm so happy that I got to come back. And it was funny, because Posey and I were talking about, this is loud. Um, <laughs> Posey and I were talking about how, you know, we've known each other for so long, but when I when we came back as Jackson, I, you know, Jackson's kind of annoying and a little bit of a prick, uh, and I have this monologue, and he kept laughing in my takes, and I was like, we're never gonna get this done. Like, so we're, so, we're all so close that, you know, it definitely, we're just excited to be here. Also, today is Holland's birthday, everybody. Happy birthday. We love you. What did you get her? Um, it's just love. <laughs> uh, Jeff called us ketchup and mustard when we showed up, and he's not wrong. I was like, oh, oh, we, like ketchup and mustard. we totally do. But good. But I love condiments. 
comments, so there you go. That's my birthday present. I don't like mustard. I love it. Um, Shelly, hello, ma'am. Thank you for being back here. I'm so happy to see you as well. I, I do have to say, what I'm most excited about with your character is just the fact that you're gonna get to have your own arc and just really, and have your own story this time around. And I'm just curious, what are you excited about or what can folks look forward to this time around? Because I feel like in the movie, it's like, you can really take the story in where you want to go. Yeah, I was, I was really pleased and excited to hear that Jeff wanted me back. Um, and I loved his his pitch and what where he thought Malia would be. And um, I Shelly was having her own arc this year, so I brought that into Malia. And they're like, yep. Um, and it was you know I I play Malia a lot more vulnerable, or at least that's what I thought I was bringing to it. I don't know. I haven't seen it. I haven't gotten text messages of scenes. Um, <laughs> they're coming. I think I think they're incoming. Yeah, right? they're coming. Uh, no, I, I trust Jeff with my life and these people right here. It was just amazing. And, and to what Holland said, it was a real feeling of being reunited. And I got to know them even more. I mean, Crystal and I never really filmed together. Um, Holland and I got to spend a lot more girl time together. I got to know you a little more. You know, like we all just, we have new characters and new friends. And um, yeah, Malia kind of has her own little journey, but it's still about the pack and it's still about um, having them in her life or not having them in her life, depending on which part of the movie we're looking at. Yeah, and I will say, everyone watching, I think right now, and everyone who's at Comic-Con, and really everyone who's a fan of the show, like, I just felt it being a moderator for, like, the first panel. When I first said I was doing it, a lot of people were like, oh my god, like, it's happening, and I just, I was just slightly older than the, like, I shouldn't have been watching Team Wolf, but I was, like, I was into it, whatever, we all had our faces. And, and so I just didn't understand it until I saw it, but I think with, like, Kale and especially Dylan, with you guys, you guys felt it the entire time, and you guys have always felt it. What does it feel like? Because I have to feel like after the last season, you thought, that's it. I don't think I'm coming back, and now here we are. So what is it like being back? And Dylan, I'll start with you. Well, <laughs> it is uh, it's quite lovely. Um, <laughs> being back has, has been uh, amazing. I, uh, it's funny, when I came on the show, I was the youngest wolf. And now we have a new young wolf, so uh, I don't, I'm not bad at character. Um, so it was really cool to, to pass that off and uh, to, to take more of a uh, mature approach to, to Liam. And, uh, and I have a new love interest as well, Amy. She's an amazing partner, an amazing actress, and uh, we kick a lot of ass together. And uh, it was really great to come back and, and do something uh, uh, in a refreshing way. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> um, everything he said. <laughs> I felt like, we've said this before, but like Teen Wolf was kind of like my college. Like, I didn't go to college, so the time that I was supposed to be in college, I was filming Teen Wolf, and you know, we were filming in high school. So I got to kind of imagine what that experience would be like, but it became like a really deep learning experience. And then, you know, it ended and life happened and we all experienced just, boy, did it happen. It happened. <laughs> and um, it was crazy to see, like, I mean, I changed as a person, but the essence was still there. And I saw that the same thing was with every single person that was a part of the cast originally. And so I, it was a surreal kind of Twilight Zone experience. It's like, imagine going back to high school with all of your original friends, but you guys have evolved and you're back in a space where you weren't. I, I, it was just, I, I wouldn't have, it felt like a dream, honestly. So I'm very grateful, very blessed, and um, I'm excited for to see what happens and see your guys' reaction, because it's been great so far. It's been an amazing journey. Love that so much. Um, for Amy and Vince, it's, I'm sure, incredible, but also intimidating to join something like this, especially with the history of every single person on this cast, in addition to just the fact that, you know, you guys are, this is a very big thing to do, I think, obviously, for both of you. So, Amy, what was it like for you that sort of, well, first of all, were you, like, you can lie if you want to, so I'd be like, how familiar were we when you joined? How familiar were we with the lore? I um, had not watched the show. I, I had watched a couple of episodes just for, like, acting 
class stuff. Like I studied the show in my acting classes. Hey. Um, but I never watched it. And it was definitely intimidating because it was like it's like being the new kid in school. It's like, am I gonna make friends? Am I gonna work well with people? Um, but Dylan was one of the first people that I met, and we like instantly clicked. We're we're super close now, and we work really well together. Um, and everyone was genuinely like so welcoming and so kind, and it felt like joining a friend group. There was no weird adjustment period where I was like, I don't know how these people feel. Like it, it, everyone is so so wonderful. It was really really cool. Uh -huh. I want to also make sure too that I, I give this opportunity because Jeff, I don't think we've actually told anyone when they get to see it, right? We haven't told them. Hold on, we forgot fans. Yeah, but, but of course they want—they want—they definitely want us to make sure everybody knows first. Um, well, I saw something online that said it was coming out October fifteenth. Um, you could see it on October fifteenth, but I don't think you'd want it to come out. <laughs> Uh, the official date is January 26th. On Paramount Plus, and you can watch it over and over and over. Yes, on repeat. Uh, Vince, I'm going to give you the last question, which I think is fitting, because you're not only stepping into the Teen Wolf shoes, but you're stepping into the like legacy family. Like you're stepping into like, yeah, you know, there's a lot that goes uh, with that. Yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> So what was that like? Because I, I really liked seeing Tyler and Scott, just the idea of them having this big brother moment with you. I love it. Right, I feel like I uh, have a lot of big brothers and fathers in this uh, movie. Um, I feel like the original I'm the show grandfather. I feel like uh, the original show works so well because it was a coming of age and there's all these teenagers just coming together to fight this one force of evil. and. Uh, just watching them grow up and you know these, these actors who grew up on it you know in real life and just to see them grow as characters is really cool and um, I would say that I bring that element kind of back into this movie you know it's called Teen Wolf and, uh, and yeah I don't know <laughs> to, to that point um, yeah everybody was just so welcoming and amazing and I feel like I I have big shoes to fill in, in real life but also in this film and. I have a lot, I'm, I'm look, like my character's looking up in this movie, I'm looking up to all these, I mean you got Scott McCall, you got Derek, and you got all these wolves, and I'm just like, what? You know? um, but I'm like that right now too, this is surreal, so yeah, thank you guys. Also, uh, just real quick for the people that this is your first time on a Comic Con stage, what's up? Like, this is, uh, the last time I did public speaking was, uh, we had to make these graveyards in school, and uh, I did it about, uh, oh gosh, I forgot the name, not Harrison Ford. Who's the person who invented the car? I can't remember. <laughs> Henry, Henry's mad, besides the point. Harrison Ford's an actor, an actor, not Harrison Ford. It's another H or something, I don't remember. Henry, Henry Ford, thank you. The last time I did public speaking was for that, and I was pooping my pants, and now I'm here and uh, doing the same thing, but it's fun. Are you peeing now? Yeah. Literally, I'm supposed to speak that back. That's my yeah, theory. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is great. I just love it. Uh, we're going to go to some audience questions really quickly. Yeah. Um, I believe we have a microphone set up, correct? Although I don't know where. Over here to the left. To the left. There, there oh, we love. go. I see a Scarlet Witch. Yeah. Hi, I'm Christina. And I'm sorry, this is more for the veterans, but um, how has your growth as an actor changed the way you think of your character or prepare? Thank you. Nice. Thank you. How has the growth of me as an actor changed the way that I approach the character? Uh, I mean, the great thing about Teen Wolf, um, you know, or any TV show that anybody gets to be on and watch religiously is that you constantly get to watch your work and be like, okay, I can improve in these moments and improve here and here and here. And the entire thing was like a learning lesson for me, you know, even though I've been acting since I was six, I was still using it as a means to kind of improve my, my craft and, and all that, you know, and so, um, you never stop doing that. You know, it's always it's a muscle that you always want to keep exercising and finding new ways to play the character. And you know, going through life, you, you, you genuinely 
learn a lot about acting and how to apply it while growing and going through crazy shit and gnarly experiences and good and happy and bad and sad. And so you just apply life, at least that's how I take it, you, you apply life to, to your work. And I thought it was very symbolic and, and serendipitous that Scott was in an area that's you know a little, a little down and, and heavy. And I've gone through some heavy shit since, since the show ended. And so it was, it was nice to kind of apply in real life. That's kind of how I act. I, I try to do it as naturally as possible without like Meisner technique or whatever. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, did that answer your... Sweet, thank you. <laughs> All right, y'all get fight me. I know, but we are out of time. There's one more, one more, one more. We can't, because we have another whole panel. Okay. But otherwise, I will. Okay. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I really am. Come on, one more. Let me get, come on, step up to the microphone. All right, keep Make it over. Keep it over. Step up, Make it step, quick. Up. Quick. step up. Make it quick, make it quick. Yeah. Go ahead, 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 go all of the memories came back for me. Um, and it was really clear to me how much I had grown as a person and how I was able to put that into Allison's journey. But um, I don't know, when I look back at the, the pilot days and I think about who we were then, our essence of who we are is still the same. And that is so genuinely beautiful, and it's such a gift to be able to have those that first year together, I think. Yeah, you were having flashbacks when I was in the lacrosse outfit. <laughs> yes, I was, I really was. And the, the cool thing is, okay. oh, there may be flashbacks in the film, I don't know. I'll say another word. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I want to thank you all so, so very much. Thank you. I think we're going to talk about some more fun stuff. More werewolves. I know. We have more things.